In the diagram below, triangle RST, L is a point on RS. Okay. And M is a point on RT such that LM is parallel to ST. So I want to indicate that here. So these are parallel. And if that's the case, what I'll end up having is two similar triangles, which is what they're trying to go for here. If RL is equal to 2, LS is equal to 6, LM is equal to 4, and ST is equal to X plus 2, what is the length of ST? Okay, so I have two similar triangles here. How do I know that? Because I have a small triangle, R, uh, L, M, and I have a bigger triangle in the same shape, uh, R, S, T, happening here. They both share angle R, and not only that, these angles are going to be the same because of alternate interior angles. I'm sorry, not alternate interior, corresponding angles. What am I saying? So these angles will end up being the same because of corresponding angles. This is going to be congruent to itself. Anyway, so what I can do is I can set up a proportion and I can say 2, right, which is RL, is to the entire length RS. That is going to be a length of 8. It is going to be equivalent to 4 over the length of x plus 2. I can now solve for x, and then after I solve for x, I can then figure out what st is. 2 over 8, that's 1 fourth, is equal to 4 over x plus 2. Cross multiply, I end up with x plus 2 is equal to 16. Subtract 2 from both sides, I end up with x is equal to 14. If x is equal to 14, then st will equal to 14 plus 2, which is equal to 16. And you know, I, I didn't even need to do that. I could have just stopped right there because x plus 2 is the length of st, right? So that is 16.